What's going on guys? Hearing with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green, the Egg Lock Run. In the last video, we had a grinding montage-like thing where we told some stories. We got everyone up to pretty much level 20, except Sipper and Hockey are both level 19 still, and Moon here is being awesome level 22. And today, we have to go get someone to cut, because we're going to be... That came out wrong. We don't want to actually cut somebody. We got to find someone to teach cut. <laughs> Uh, and that will be our poor little teddy ears that's going to become our cup bait. And we're going to be putting um, Nikestro in the box since he's not going to be that useful considering this is the electric gym. I would put uh, Beto in the box as well, but eh, you know, Beto's pretty amazing. And while we're doing all this cut stuff, I kind of want to... Oh wow, I didn't realize how many Pokemon here were cut. I kind of want to make a reference to something, so... In one of the last videos, I think it was the one where I took on Misty, someone ended up um, leaving a comment saying that I cheated and used the rare candies to grind because um, Lapras's XP was... That's a cell phone. Because Lapras's XP... That's another cell phone. Thank you, phone. <laughs> because Lapras's XP was at the... Uh, like, there was nothing in its XP bar. And... Really? Can you not do that? Thank you. <laughs> I, I sh really should have put my phone on vibrate. Um, anyways, so the person said that because... Uh, I'm, and that they are basically saying I used the red candies to cheat and grind. And I'm like, you are the stupidest person in the world. I literally did a video showing the grinding. It's just like, oh, why? Why? I like typically try not to be too mean, but I literally called this person like... I just said, you are... A, I used a naughty word. I was I was just angry, okay? It just annoyed me so much that that person said that, considering there's like proof right there on my channel that I did this grinding. And it's just like, oh, dang it. Ah, just, I don't know. But yes, I obviously did the grinding. If you guys don't believe that I did the grinding, feel free to watch the last video where I talk about, I tell them some stories. And every time I attack a Pikachu! Literally every time. Ah, I hate Pikachu's for that one reason. I always seem to activate their static. Just, it is incredible. And ah, yep. Okay, I knew I'd get paralyzed. I know. I've mentioned. I've actually mentioned this like several, probably hundred times over my nuts, all my YouTube channels, but um, or my YouTube career thing. Um, I don't know what to call it. But okay, can we maybe actually hit this thing? Thank you. Okay. Um, Slam! Slam is... Oh, okay, fine. You know what? Screw this. Slam makes no sense at all. I don't understand why they saw this move that has... It's not exactly a lot of base power. I, I want to think it's like 70 base power. And why they decided to give it like a horrible, horrible... Okay, yeah, this Pichu is obviously just never going to die. That's nice. Why they gave it horrible accuracy? I think Slam has like 85 accuracy. And I don't understand why they made such a weak move have such bad accuracy. It's confusing to me. My little brain can't comprehend the Poco logic. Yes, Poco logic. Well, we're not supposed to comprehend Poco logic. Speaking of Pokemon, because this randomly came into my mind, uh, today uh, Nintendo had their big E3 thing, and I think I was like the only person who like really didn't care that E3 was going on, because it seemed like everyone else was talking about it, and I'm just here like not really caring at all. So, but I... Once I, find, I saw Kingdom Hearts 3 was trending on Twitter, and I was like, oh my god, I missed it! So I went and watched the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer, because for those of you who don't know, Kingdom Hearts is pretty much like my favorite game series of all time, because it's kind of like the greatest game series of all time. Sorry, Pokemon, but yeah. Anyways, um, so, not this, I shouldn't be talking about Kingdom Hearts. Pokemon! Nintendo released a ton of Pokemon stuff today, including two new Pokemon. Is there two or three new po I think two new Pokemon. They finally, finally confirmed the fairy type. So now we can finally stop all this speculation about what the new, what Sylveon is going to be. We now know it's fairy type. We could stop clamoring over what, if there's going to be a new type and what it is. Whether it's light or fairy or sound. First off, I still think sound would have been incredibly stupid, but... I actually would have been okay with light type. I think light type would have made sense considering there's a dark type. But I guess, I'm guessing like Fairy is the counterpart to Dark, I don't know. Either way. Uh, and Fairy's going to be super effective against Dragon, which I'm sure it's going to be super effective against more than... Wow. Okay, don't you dare hit yourself. Good boy. 
Wow! God dang it. Hockey is just... Oh, are you serious? Are you kidding me? I can't switch out. <sighs> Hockey has been such a pain to train. He gets paralyzed, like, constantly. He just he can't do anything correctly. It's just a big pain in the butt. Let's not get paralyzed this time, okay, Hockey? Maybe we could actually kill this thing. Maybe? Maybe? Thank you! Oh my god, you did something right! Wow! Congratulations, buddy! You don't completely suck. Okay, you kind of do, but I'll try to forgive you for that. So, once again, I keep forgetting to buy Paralyzed Heels. I will go do that right now. Anyways, what do you guys think about the new Pokemon? I know there's a, a basically a new Butterfree. It's a flying bug, and it actually... I don't know, it looks okay, I guess. Um, eh, I'm not a big fan of the design. Or was, I think there's... No, there's three new Pokemon, because there's a new uh, Flying Dragon type, there's a Bug Flying type, and... Or was there only two? I... Now I can't remember. I want to think there's a third one that I can't think of, but I don't know now. I'm really confused. I'm... Yeah. Anyway, so a lot of um, pre-gen... A lot of Pokemon that are exist are actually getting changed to fairy type as well. Like, Meryl is now going to be a water fly... Uh, is going to be a water fairy type. Uh, with Jigglypuff is going to be normal fly... Normal fairy type. And this one actually kind of surprised me. But, um, Gardevoir is going to... Arrgh! Can we kill one battle without you getting paralyzed? I mean, seriously? This every single battle, you got, like, paralyzed on the very first turn, dude. St <laughs> and I forgot to buy paralyzed heels. Oh my god, I hate myself so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so... I don't even remember what I was saying anymore, to be honest. I believe it was... Let's go get paralyzed heels before I forget. Um... Oh, yeah, Gardevoir is becoming a Psychic Fairy type, which probably means that both Curlia and Ralts will also become Psychic Fairy types. Because, you know, I don't know what's going on with Gallade. I'm assuming Gallade would still be a Psychic, um, Psychic Fighting type. Yeah, that's what it is. Because he looks like a Fighting type, but I'm sure, I'm no, I can pretty much guarantee those aren't going to be, like, the only Pokemon to become Fairy type. I mean... You can pretty much, if Jigglypuff's going to be a fairy type, you can all but guarantee Wigglytuff will also be a fairy type. Um, there's a lot of Pokemon that would fit like that stereotype of fairy. Like pretty much every freaking normal type. Where am I going? Like every normal type pretty much looks like a fairy. At least all like the pink ones. Like um, I'm sure Chansey and Blissey will become fairy types. And, but the bad thing about that is that you probably won't get a lot of new fairy types introduced because of just how many... There already are that could be changed to fairy types. So now begins the hunt for the trash can. And I I hate this part of Maze so much because it never seems to make sense to me. I always do something wrong and I'm never able to figure out what's going on. So hopefully we can... Oh, okay. So we got to switch. I know we've already done this one and this one. So it has to be this one. What? What? Well, we've already looked at the other two. Ah, uh, uh, wait. I, I looked at that one. I looked at that one. Nothing. I look at this one. It's going to be next to it, so it's this one. But no, it's not there. What? No, Pokemon. No. Ah. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, this... I, I... I don't understand how this maze works. It... My little Caterpie brain can't comprehend this. It's too much science, man. I'm not good in science. I did horrible in science when I was a kid. Okay, so there's only like... Okay. Okay. So let's try this one. Yes! Oh, we got it! Okay, fantastic. Alright, so time to take on Lieutenant Surge. Will I finally break my streak of always losing ground types? Time to find out. And, the bigger question, will Hockey get paralyzed on the first turn in a battle four times in a row? Seriously? That's actually really annoying. So, let's take on Lieutenant Surge. He starts off with a Voltorb. I believe he is po his team is Voltorb, Pikachu, and Raichu. And, uh, let's go for Dig... Sonic Boom. Okay, I actually don't think Voltorb... Does, I don't know if Voltorb actually learns Thunder Wave or not. I'm assuming it probably does... That didn't kill. That didn't kill. Let's dig again. Okay, he has a Super Potion. I probably should have, like, Headbutt or something. That way the next dig would have been guaranteed to kill. But, you know, mistakes happen. I'm a little worried about Shock Wave because it turns out Hockey doesn't have, like, the best special defense. I found that out. And okay, let's let's just 
That's Metal Claw. Shockwave. Okay, come on. You can take it. You can take it. I believe in you, man. I believe in you. I believe in... You can't take it! Ah! Why? 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 Okay, he's not a... He's not a ground type. He's not a ground type. I guess it's... You know, it eliminates the problem I had about having two rock types, but still, now I'm sad. Okay, I just know static is going to activate here, and I'm going to be a super sad. Actually, I don't know if static activates on ground types. Oh, don't you start that nonsense, Pikachu. I will dig you right in your face, boy. Okay, so I'm pretty confident Moon will be able to handle the Raichu, even though it's going to be a level higher than us. I'm, I'm sad. Although, I got to admit, I'm kind of... I'm kind of happy that I made it to the third gym now, and that's only the second Pokemon I've lost. And every time I've lost a Pokemon so far has been a critical, so... I'm doing apparently a decent job. I would... Oh! Wow, okay, we managed to one-shot it. That's the power of King for you. Oh, okay, well that answers my question about static activating on ground types. But, we did it. We beat Lieutenant Surge, and we didn't lose any ground type Pokemon. Awesome. Okay, so... I'm sad. You know, I actually realized, um... I kind of, I've been like thinking about this the past few days. The one thing I really like have to, um, I guess discredit or say, put down Kanto on. I don't really know like what the proper word is. The one thing I have to say like negatively about the Kanto games is that there's really no like order to the gyms. And that, uh, you know, in like the later games, you like have to complete the gym to be able to move on with the game. And that's not really necessary in Kanto. I mean, yes, you have to beat Brock. But you can go to Vermilion without beating Misty. You can go to Rock Tunnel without beating Lieutenant Surge. You can pretty much like do everything without beating the gyms. Uh, un uh, you know, except challenging New Leaf 4, obviously. And that's something I've always really disliked. Okay, let's go. We got some business to do in the box here. Um, who are we going to take to replace our fallen comrade? First off, let's go get our... Ooh, you got a... Purism Berry? What does that do? Uh, I'll get the item from him in a second. Okay, let's take... Um... I don't know. I already have, like, every type here. I've, I decided I'm going to use... this Once I get the Celadon, I'm going to make Chewitz a... Um, Jolteon. So, I'll... I'll probably wait to start leveling him up until I do that so he doesn't miss out on any electric type moves. Um... I, I guess I can bring... I don't know who to bring. You know, I guess I'll, I'll bring... I'm going to bring someone who can learn Flash, actually. Um, I'm going to see if Dunsparce can learn Flash really quick. Because I, I don't know why, but looking at him, I think he might be able to. So, one second. Okay, so... One, Dunsparce can't learn Flash because he's a useless derp. And two... Uh, I went to Bulbapedia, and I just found out there was a second trailer at E3. Which revealed even more new Pokemon. And revealed... A new possible new battle type where it showed a Froakie taking on four Houndor at once. Yeah, plural. Four. As in a lot. So, <laughs> that's awesome. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm going to get some Repel because I'm going to go get Flash. And I don't want to be bothered with Diglets. So, yeah. Just thought I would let you guys know in case you're curious. Uh, so, what I decided I'm going to... Okay, yeah, actually, before I get on to what I'm going to do, I kind of want to talk about this trailer real quick. I didn't actually watch the trailer. I just saw some screenshots of it. And one, I f they s apparently that new flying type that learns flame charge is in fact a, um, okay, I am not having a hockey out because that's going to get me screwed in case the duck trio comes along, is in fact a normal flying type, which I was actually really disappointed by because I thought it would have been a fire flying type. That would have been really cool. I mean, it learns flame charge. It has a red body. It just, it would have made sense for it to be fire, fire flying, but nope, they went with the stereotypical uh, flying, flying, flying normal, and apparently they showed its new evolution, which I didn't really get a good look at it, but, you know, I didn't really care because it's not fire type, and I'm disappointed by that, so, yeah, <laughs> um, either way, I think it's really, I'm so freaking excited for X and Y now after this, and I just, oh, I can't wait to get my hands on that game, it's gonna be so amazing, so, actually, no, this is not where that dude is, or, Oh no, yeah, that's the guy that wants to trade you like a Mr. Mimers. Did I? Did it? Oh, oh my god, I did it! Ah! Oh, and I forgot to put hockey in the box. Wow. Okay, well, you know what? 
Hockey. I completely forgot Hockey had died. <laughs> okay, since Hockey's dead, I'm just going to use him as my cut slave. And then if you don't like it, well, he's dead anyways, so it's not like it really matters. Get over it. I will put him in a box when we get back to Vermilion. So no need to get all sad face. So what I was going to say about what I'm going to be doing is I believe I could attach three new Pokemon uh, before I actually have to take care of... Um, how many do I have taken care of? How many... I have 23 kinds of Pokemon. Awesome. Um, I, I I could get my words out. I have one on, I think, Route 9, Route 10, and in Rock Tunnel. So that's three new places I could catch Pokemon. So that's three attempts to hatch something that can learn Flash. And hopefully a Grass type or Electric type. Because pretty much, usually, Grass and Electric types can learn Flash. I'm not 100% sure why Grass types can learn Flash. At least a lot of them. Like, I think Onish and Bellsprout can. I can understand the electric types, but I never understood the grass types learning it. And is my repel not on? Did we really get that far? Doorbell, leave me alone. I know you're dead. Every. What the heck? A vast retrieving infer. Wait, no, wait. No, please go away. Okay. I don't want to renew my antivirus. I obviously want to be hacked and taken over. Thank you. Uh, as I was saying, we're going to go catch or hatch three new Pokemon in this video that will probably be taking on Rock Tunnel next time so that should be exciting hopefully we get some awesome hatches some high level hatches would be nice instead of all like the level 5 Pokemon we've been having to deal with recently and now before I forget let's go sorry <coughs> I had to sneeze I am so sorry um, let's go uh, I guess I better get Teddy or so, so I could stop using I just can stop breaking the rules by using the Hokey. Hokey, who I like how people are still pointing out that I mispronounced uh, or I misspelled a hockey's name when I like I pointed out that it like when I was doing it that I oh I forgot I lost Bagon. Okay, so we lost three Pokemon. My apologies, and we didn't lose Bagon to a critical hit. We lost Bagon to me being a moron because I'm stupid. I forgot all about Bagon. Um, Coronis had a fantastic nickname, and I forgot all about it. I am so sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings like that. Yes, I forgot. I just realized I forgot to get the bike voucher, but it's not the end of the world because by the time we actually need a bike, we'll be able to fly anyways. So I don't really care. <laughs> it doesn't disappoint me that much. We'll actually be able to fly really soon. When we get to sell it on, you get fly. So big happy face time. So we are now on route nine. I've just, I completely forgot this route as a bunch of trainers. And let's, who should we start grinding? I don't. I don't want to be bothered with Petio, so we have the Grass Gym next, and Sipper is pretty much the only one who's not level 20. That's on my regular team. Teddy Ursa hasn't really earned that regular team spot yet. I'm going to make him do everything he can to prove to me that he deserves to be here. He deserves this spot, which he probably won't get. Really? Oh, I hate Oddishes. This is like one the one reason I have like nothing against Oddishes except for the fact that they love putting you to sleep. Like, I bet, I can guarantee this Oddish probably doesn't even have any actual moves. I bet it just has Sweet Scent, Sleep Powder, Poison Powder, and Stun Spore. That's just, ugh. That's why I love in the, Nuz, in the Nuzlocke comics when Ruby catches an Oddish, and he's just like, eh, no. And he shoves a Leaf Stone, a Rare Candy, a uh, Cut, and Bullet Seed down his throat to pretty much say, yeah, this isn't that. You little whore. Mm. I... Uh, okay, you know, Bellsprout is right up there with the annoying Pokemon. Like, he's right there with Oddish of, like, Pokemon, and I just would not care if they just stopped existing. I... Okay, okay, you want to bring on more? You're going to get into Kestrode. Last time we started a new phrase of getting Bedoed, now you're getting into Kestrode, okay? Every time any of my Pokemon are going to kill something, we're just going to say their name with a D afterwards, because that makes it sound cool. At least that's what my mom told me, and I believe everything she says, because I'm very gullible. That's why the Stork delivered me to them. When I was a year old, Santa Claus is real, and elves are actually just midgets in disguise. That's everything my mom told me. And I believed every single bit of it. Because I'm not smart. But you don't need to be smart. Okay, let's see what this prism berry is before I forget, because I can't, for the life of me, remember what... But he does have pickup, which is actually going to be really cool, because we could probably get a bunch of free items. Where is our berry pouch? When held, it will be used in battle to lift confusion. Ooh, okay. Teddy Ursa just earned an... Oh, okay, this is Aerial Ace. Yep. I uh, might... I don't know. I'll probably hold on to that for a while. Um, I don't know who I will teach Aerial Ace to. I 
pretty much like a lot of people who you want to think can learn Aerial Ace can learn Aerial Ace for some reason. I guess like all you have to do is like have a claw and that makes you eligible for Aerial Ace, which is, you know, I mean, that's cool, I guess. <laughs> like, uh, I, I think like so many starter Pokemon, Sceptile Corn Aerial Ace, um, that one Pokemon I can't remember, Typhlosion, Corn Aerial Ace, that's the one I was thinking of. I can't remember because I'm not smart. Aerial Ace is just like one of those universal moves that apparently like everybody can learn for some reason. Which is actually really cool because it's actually a pretty awesome move. I mean it's just a straight upgrade to Wing Attack because it never misses. But um, okay, I was going to try to avoid you but that's cool. Just turn around the last freaking second. That's nice. I didn't want to have any problems with you. Okay, so let's try out, actually, I was going to say let's try out our brand new Rock Team, but with Intimidate plus the fact that we're not at full health, uh, maybe that's not a fantastic idea. What is Hound, I don't, wow, wow, that's cool, yeah, you're not killing Sipper, so you're going to have to get over that. Okay, yeah, Uter, Uter Sleuth me, Uter Sleuth me, it's not even a word, and I want you to do it, I want you to do it real good, oh yeah, oh baby. That's totally weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's really weird. I was gonna say, I think Houndor's ability is probably Flash Fire. I think um, Houndoom also gets Intimidate. I think those are like its two possible abilities. I don't really remember, so. Oh, dang it, a bug catcher. Okay, that's nice. We're never gonna get to this grass, apparently. I, I like having a lot of trainers to take on because it means it's less grinding I have to do later. But at the same time, it's like, wow, I really just want to go catch a Pokemon. Do you really all have to be here right freaking now? Just, you're just kind of annoying me. Hey, I'm very disappointed with you all. So I'm going to have to ask Mr. B Drill guy that, oh, Fury Attack. Oh, I don't like this move. Okay, it's not doing enough to kill me. But seriously, Fury Attack, very scary move. It can mess you up big time if you're not careful. Especially like when Spearows use it. Spearows use it to kill. So you really, really have to be careful with those things because they will mess you up big time. I've found that out the hard way in the past at Spearow's in Fury Attack. It just does not end well. So let's get our Route 9 Pokemans. Hopefully it's a nice, decent level. Hopefully I have Pokeballs. I don't actually remember. It's a Rattata, level 14. Not incredibly horrible. It's Seismic Toss because I'm sure you have more HP than a Magic Carp. I sure hope you do. That would make me sad. Okay, that's perfect. And now we will attempt to catch you if I have Pokeballs. I do have Pokeballs, I have 12 of them. Fantastic news. Okay, so is Rattata gonna put up a fight? It will not do it. Okay, awesome, we caught it. I was gonna wait till we get to the Route 10 Pokemon Center, but I'm feeling kind of impatient, and I think I'm just gonna go hatch him right now because we should probably go back to the Pokemon Center anyways and heal up, and this seems like a fantastic time. Maybe we'll get something known coin like Flash and Cut, and we'll just become like our HM Slate Pokemon. So don't let me forget to go to the Pokemon Center, because I will. So let's take, uh, let's take Box 2, and let's go this one. Yeah. Okay, so this will be level 14. Let's put Teddy Ursa in the box for now. Unfortunately, I will need him again. Which makes me sad. Unless we get something here that can learn Cut and Flash. Like an Oddish. An Oddish would be really nice. Because it can learn both those moves. It can learn two... Why does Flash have to be an HM? I, I seriously don't understand. I almost forgot to heal up. Thank you. Thank you guys. For those of you who actually took the time to say, Hardy, please go heal up. I appreciate what you did for me. Thank you very much. Okay. So, now let's wait and hatch our egg and hatch it into something great. It will not be... If it's not good, then we'll make scrambled eggs if that's okay. And if you don't like scrambled eggs, I don't know what to say. I put ketchup on my eggs. I'll do it anyway. Sometimes I put pepper because pepper's really good. I also like salt and it makes it... Oh! You're so close to an Oddish! It's not fair! No! <laughs> <laughs> so close! You're almost, you're like as close as you can get to an Oddish. I mean, it's like the same size as Oddish and everything. God dang it. Man, I am so sad right now. I almost predicted that hatch too. That would have been awesome. Ah, poop. Alright, let's try this again. Let's go box three this time and let's take this one up here. Maybe this one will actually be an Oddish. 
I remember. I think I remember someone uh, putting a comment saying that they actually went and hatched like all 120 eggs, and that there's only like two legal grass types in the entire thing, which actually makes me really sad because I could sure use a grass type. I could sure use an electric type also because I. I they also said there's. I forgot how many electric types they said there were, but there weren't many. So all this is doing is making me really miss my electabuzz. Um, but our next hatch is going to be. Another Cubone! Yay! Awesome. Okay. Let's nickname you. Uh, I'm gonna nickname you. I don't know, Dino. I can't think of anything else. I was really kind of hoping for something we didn't already have, but what else? Growl, Tail Whip, Ancient Power. Okay, so that's nice. Don't even give him his, like, his default tackle. That's cool. <laughs> Uh, so let's level him up to 14, and then let's just be sad because we didn't get a useful Pokemon. Oh well. Man, I wanted an Oddish. I, after seeing what Oddish can do, like Oddish just completely wrecking my team earlier, I was like, oh god, I really want an Oddish now because Oddish is just like the most amazing thing ever. And then I didn't get an Oddish, and now I'm sad. I guess we're going to have a ton of ground types in case Nido King dies, though. I mean, we have... Two, we're gonna have two, whatever these things, two Cubones. We have a Fampy. We're just kind of set. So I don't actually know which of our Cubones is a higher level because I don't remember what the other one is. I'm pretty sure they both have headbutts. So the other one's probably like 16. We'll find out either way. But and one more. Okay, so there we go. And yeah, I I am sorry if I sound like really disappointed right now. It's because I. I'm really disappointed. I was really hoping for a better hatch than that, and that just didn't happen, so... Eh, you know, whatever. There's nothing I can do about it now. Let's put him in a box. What is our other cube? Where is our... Okay, there he is. 13 and 14. Okay, so I guess this one would be better by one level, so... Yeah, Faffy here is just being level 5, so that's nice. I guess let's take... Um... I don't, God, I don't know who to take. I guess we'll... I don't know. I'll leave it up to you guys. Who should I take as the fifth member of my party? You guys tell me. Next time we'll be going to Route 10 in the Rock Tunnel, catching new Pokemon there as well, as well as making our way to Lavender Town. So, well, until then, I'm Hardy Tech Yo-Yo. Thank you for watching. Peace!